Why did Jesus teach in parables? Parables are not illustrations to illustrate truth. There are illustrations to hide truth. Why? It's the mercy of God. He intentionally hides truth from those who aren't ready to obey it. So he doesn't automatically increase their responsibility. He hides things for us, not from us. He conceals truth in stories so that the hungry get it and those who aren't don't. Why? Because he doesn't want to increase the accountability. He doesn't want to increase the judgment on people who are not ready to receive what God is saying. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the glory of kings to search out a matter. I've got eight grandkids. We have Easter egg hunts at our house. Actually, we have nine, just one of them is in the oven. <laughs> Leah is pregnant with her fourth. Woo! Come on, yay God. Yay God. So when they come over to the house for Easter egg hunts, if you're too spiritual for Easter egg hunts, close your ears. So. <laughs> All right. When we hide the Easter eggs, when you hide an Easter egg for a two-year-old, you hide it on the coffee table. <laughs> right? You, you hide it on the floor by the leg of the chair. That's where you hide it, and you make sure it's bright. Why? Because the whole pleasure of the parent and grandparent is in the discovery of the child, is this child discovering stuff. So you want to put it where they're going to find it. My oldest is nine. If I hide hers on the coffee table, she's going to look at me. <laughs> Just like this, huh? Is it, is it, my pose is right, is it? It's perfect. She's going to look at me. And her face is going to tell me, Grandpa, try. Just try. <laughs> Just try. Why? Because their pleasure is not finding things conveniently. Their joy is that they discovered it. They looked behind the books, and there it was. Under the moss and the potted plant, and there it was. That's, their pleasure is in discovery. Now, we would never hide the eggs and go into the other room. We're always in there with them. Why? Because our pleasure is in their discovery. Our pleasure is in their pleasure. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. For some reason, in his economy, God receives more glory when he's put it just out of reach so that you actually have to sacrifice to get it. Something about the process brings him glory. He couldn't get any other way. But there's something else. It's the glory of kings to search out a matter. Your royalty never shines brighter than when you live with a consciousness, I have a legal right to the mysteries of God, and I'm going to look. There's something about becoming king queens, the princes, the princesses in the kingdom. There's something about rising to our call and our destiny in the moment of searching. The scripture says it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the mysteries of the kingdom. He has given us legal keys to unlock hidden secrets and mysteries. He, he's the Easter egg hider who is giving you clues. You know, we do this with our kids, especially the, the young ones, when we, when we, uh, the youngest ones, when we know there's an egg over there in that plant. We do it now in the front yard, so 
if the weather's good. So we put it over in this plant, and we know it's going to be kind of hard to find, and maybe the older ones have all, the, all they need, so we're looking at the young ones. We're counting up their eggs, and we want to make sure they all do well, so we'll say, Diego, come here. <laughs> we tilt our head in that direction, you know, and, and he'll, he'll look. He can read our eyes. He's looking, and he goes, you know, you're getting warm. You're, we're throwing out clues, you know. We're, you're getting warm. No, it's your left hand. And he goes, <laughs> you know, to, trying to see where, and finally he goes, ah, I got it. And he's so happy that he found it. We're so happy that, that he found it. It's, it's the glory of God. God is glorified by your countenance of pleasure in discovery.